Hi, this is Jeffrey from Jeffrey App Tech, and welcome back to another video. In this video, I'd like to show you how to use the ESP32. Now, the ESP32 is a much more powerful processor than the ESP8266, its predecessor. Now, you might notice it looks almost the same as this. Compare them. It's actually slightly smaller. And it, again, also fits on a breadboard and also uses the exact same port along with the exact same serial driver. Now, it has a lot more features because it's a, it features a 2.4 gigahertz microprocessor along with Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. Not just Wi-Fi, not Bluetooth as well. That's really cool. It's a big upgrade from this. Without further ado, let's get started. Now, let's install our ESP32 board library. Now, you want to find this page. Sorry, sometimes the HTML doesn't load. Like this, you want to find this from Expressive. And then you want to go to, for instructions, you want to go to Mac or your operating system. Then you want to run these commands inside Terminal. And since I've already ran it, it says it's already existed and it's not, it's not empty. Anyway, once you've installed it, you can go directly to Arduino. Now go to Arduino, and let's go to Tools. And you see, I've already selected it. If you go to the ver if you go to the very bottom, it should be already installed for you. Anyway. Let's move on to trying to upload a program. And that is pretty much it for our project. That's how you use the ESP32. And just remember, if it just says done uploading, it's done. Anyway, bye, and I'll see you next time.